Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you for being on my channel. I'm Ollie. Um, today we're just going to be talking about JWPEI, JWP, um, and just kind of talking a little bit about the brand, reviewing some of the bags that I have, and my thoughts on this fast um, growing and hype designer luxury bag brand. Um, so a little background about the brand, it is minority owned, it is uh, woman owned, and it is, um, it's vegan, so, you know, and it's luxury. I don't understand, like, what's not to love about it. Um, started in 2016 by a husband and wife duo, Yang Pei and Stephanie Lee. Um, you'll see it, like, all, like, the little... Um, the LA like influencers and like celebrities will be wearing it um, like Holly Bailey or Holly whatever Justin Bieber's wife Holly Bieber um, you'll see a lot of girls like just like on the street wearing the bag and it's like how did this bag come to like fame so quickly um, I think it has a lot to do that it you know it's it's based in Los Angeles so it's kind of like um, the hub for um, influencing and the hub for uh, designer and stuff like that um, so reading off the website it says JWPI is a Los Angeles based accessory brand funded by a husband and wife duo the inspiration behind the brand was upon the idea that fashion should be accessible, effortless, effortless and empowering. A minimalistic design and sustainable vegan materials is at its heart of the brand. Um, they say the design is made for each and every woman, and that is a modern, minimalistic aesthetic. Um, it puts forward and seeks to celebrate femininity, beauty, strength through fun and creative fashions. Um, it is vegan leather, it is recycled plastic, and um, something that they highly um, prioritize is sustainability and high quality. And um, high quality canvas, I don't know how you say this word, polythane and certified fabrics made from recycled plastic bags. Um, their vegan leather is not like most vegan le leathers from what I have researched. Um, their leathers is a lot stronger than a lot of um, faux leather and um, uh, other leather options out there. So, um, so you're you're really getting high quality when you get this bag. Like, don't be put off if be if you're not concerned about vegan leather, which I'm pretty sure most people are kind of. I, I would hope in 2022 we're kind of put off by um, the idea of like actual leather like it's not necessary for real for all and I, I think a lot of people do prefer vegan leather these days um, so you, with that not only you're getting something that is vegan but you're not um, you don't have to feel you so you don't have to feel bad about it but you're still retaining something that's high quality um, with a sleek design now they say they're minimalistic and I will say most of their designs are um, and for what I've seen out there um, from um, what do you call it from like uh, from what you see in like the news as far as this brand goes and um the the photos that you get from paparazzi you kind of just catch random celebrities wearing it on like a streetwear um and it's i think they're bags that you can easily dress up or down um and so they do um they are a lot on that sleek minimalistic vibe but um they do have a lot of fun bags too that i think you know, um, if you're, if you're more, if you're like, if you're looking for something fun, you they have fun stuff. Um, I don't think I have any of the bags that is, um, I don't think I, I have like their most popular style, but I do have their most iconic style. And, um, that's 
some of the bags I will be showing today. So, um, let's get into it. Okay, starting off with I what I consider their most iconic style bag, very unique looking bag. Um, uh, I would like when I think fun designer bag, this is some, this is what I have imagined. Uh, fun new designer bag, this is like what comes to mind. Um, and it's their Abacus Faux Fur Top Handle Bag in pink that you see me wear on Instagram. Oh, I love this bag. I love this bag so much. Don't look at my nails. I've had these nails for over a month now and um, I just got them like refilled in, but like they've, it's past their expiration date. So like they all popped off, they're, they're popping off. I'm about to um, have them take it off. But um, anyways, this bag that you've seen on Instagram, I love this bag. I would show you what the packaging looked like, um, but my dog, she threw the bag and my fiance was like, what the fuck is, what is this? Um, and threw it out. He's like, just, yeah. But um, I will be showing you what a smaller box looks like. Um, what a smaller box looks like this. Um, And they each come with a dust bag, which is great. Um, like this, very nice. But um, yeah, I love this bag. It's so fun, it's so girly, it's so fluffy, it's so nice, it feels nice. The curl on here, I feel like it's very different. I feel like you don't get like a, um, a you don't see like this faux fur texture a lot. Not in, um, not an accessories in a way. Um, these little fun little abacus things. You can like move around. I like it. Somebody was calling it the donut bag and I love that name. It's so cute. But I like that. I like that you can move it to whatever side that you want to move it on. Um, I, this, this is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller, um, but it's like a medium size for, I would say for their brand, it's like a medium size. Um, there is one, you see inside, there's like one little flap for, um, for whatever you want to put in there with the uh, JWPI logo on the inside. Um, the flap looks like it's actually made out of leather and the inside is like a, um, I think it's like a polyester, I'm not sure. Um, pink on the inside, the leather on the inside feels very, very nice. Um, zips, zips up, has JWPI on the logo, uh, um, the logo on the on the um I don't, I don't even know what you call this on the zipper, <laughs> on the zipper. um yeah <sighs> this is a this is a fun this is a fun bag um i feel like it's great that they have designs like this because it shows like the diversity of the brand and um it just embodies feminism feminism um which yeah which is one of the the brand claims to promote here um also have it in blue it's coming off more blue on the camera than it is in real life but this is like cookie monster no i i would say it's it's not far off from on the camera this is cookie monster blue hello um Am I Cookie Monster bag? Like, I have yet to wear this. Um, tag still on. But from what I've seen, it's 
same thing um, the insides are also blue and um, with like this nice material on the inside um, and a uh, leather flap or leather pocket um so yeah they have bags ranging from as low as just below forty dollars all the way up to like $170. I believe these bags for um, $125. $129. These are like very affordable designer bags. You know, they're worth the money. Um, and they're they're very cute. So yeah, when you, you buy this, you're is is definitely you're definitely getting getting what what is worth. Okay, next we have um another abacus bag. Um but this is a mini in orange. Um the fluff on here is different. It's way different than the other fluff. It's softer and um, it's straighter. Um, it feels so soft to touch. It's so cute and tiny. Um, I got this for Christmas. I don't even know how they managed to get this bag because it's been sold out. It's been sold out for a minute. Um, and I look on the website today it was sold out. I looked around December and November and it was sold out. So they like really pulled a miracle there. Um, comes with one little, little donut. <laughs> and um, yeah. I don't know what I could fit in this bag. Let's see. You can get quite a, a quite a bit in the other bag. You can definitely fit a phone in there, um, some lip gloss, maybe a, some makeup, a compactor or two, your gloss, pen. Um, this one, it, I think maybe if you really try, you could fit your phone in here. But my phone's not going in right now. Yeah. I do think that you could get a compact in here and probably a lip gloss. Um, but it's the same as the other bags. Um, on the inside, I can tell. Which is like... I don't even know what what you're gonna fit in this pocket inside because it's so tiny. Um, but I love this; it's so cute. Um, come on, get into it. Uh, 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 uh. This is going for eighty dollars right now. <laughs> um, so soft to touch for real. Um, yeah. I'm loving the fun colors that they have. I really do. I really love that. This, um, your dust bag is also really nice. It's a really nice dust bag. Uh, yeah. It seems like it's like a satin. It's like a, yeah, it is satin. So, yeah. I can't think of anything even remotely similar to these. This uh, abacus shape, um, maybe the Fenty, the Fenty photography, photography bag. Um, this the shape is truly unique and um, very fun, and there's really nothing like it. Um, okay, yeah. So next things next, I have a. Next things next, I have a um, have the Gabby Super Mini bag in 
in red, which on their website they're calling Chili. It's going for $50 right now. Um, they seem to keep a sale going on, so I will look out for that. Um, you might be able to get something for cheaper than it already is. Um, this packaging is super cute. My favorite color is green. I'm obsessed with this packaging. I think it's like, I don't, I don't know. I think it's uh, adorable. Something about the design of the box, I just think is really like nice. I don't know. I think it's super cute. Um, comes with its own, um, with its own dust bag. Also like a satin material with the design on it. I really like this design. Um, yeah. So this is the bag. See the logo on front. And this design um, is actually the most popular design, I believe. This is the one that I've seen most like celebs in. Um, yeah, it has a magnetic clasp inside, so it like automatically closes and it pretty much stays closed. Um, I don't see you really needing to open it for too many reasons. It's very, very small. I can't imagine what you can fit in it. Um, I have some iPods. Let me attempt to actually put my iPods in here. I think you can fit some iPods in here. If you can fit, um, if you, yeah, you can fit some iPods in here, then you can fit some car keys or maybe a small lip gloss. Um, so your keys and a lip gloss, and that's probably about it. Um, it's, it's more of a look thing. You can wear it around your waist or crossbody um, with this chain. That it comes with and they have like a variety of different accessories on their website so they have like different chains available if you ever need a um a chain for any reason but uh this also has the jaded ppi logo on it this gold is really nice and it feels heavy um Yeah, just clip it on like this. Loving this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I actually have this channel. This uh, I actually wore this purse in a recent picture, but you couldn't see the purse. It, but I had it like tied around my waist, like a like it was a belt, which I thought was super cute with that Fashion Nova fluffy top. Um, yeah, love that. Um, they, they have lots of color options available. Um, and again, this is vegan leather and like the quality is really, really nice. You're not really tarnishing this and I could, I could see me having these, this and these bags for like um, sorry, I got all up in your face just now, but yeah, they have, um, seven colors available in the mini size. Um, they have an ivory, it looks like a green, a black, a lilac, um, the red, of course, a pink, and this is looking like blue. Um, it's like a peacock turquoisey blue though. Very cute. Um, they, they have a bag for each and every style, pretty much. Um, yeah. And uh, moving on to the last bag that I have. And the next bag I have is a black. PEI Twill Foam Bag. Um, it's retailing for $55 right now. It's on sale. Um, it usually goes for $80. Um, 
or retails for 80 is on sale for 55 right now um, they have uh, six color options available the black the red the brown and I think this is like a green or like no it's that blue like green peacocky blue color again I think like this is a, a dark blue like a navy blue and um, and then and the ivory and uh, this bag is sexy I think this bag is sexy um, it's so unique I already have an outfit in mind once I get this get this fit together um, but yeah comes in a box like this again I've already said what I said about the packaging that cute to me also comes in a dust bag like these and this is the bag like come on okay yeah so moment of silence <sighs> this is my first time really looking at it and I'm really appreciating the detail um, it's the logo this is the official logo the leather is like stamped with a design that goes like sideways so nice this leather feels really good it feels so very soft um, and this also is a crossbody it is um with a clasp, a little magnetic clasp on the inside that kind of goes into each other, and um, a detachable is this detachable? A detachable crossbody. Like I said, um, their website. This is just like it comes with like a regular leather crossbody band. Um, instead of like having, I feel like you usually see um, like the hook class for um, crossbody bags to make a bag crossbody bag, but this one, what do you call this? It has like these things, like buttons, almost. And um, you can take it off and you can adjust it a little bit, but there's only about like three holes here. Um, so you can't, you can't adjust it that much. Um, you do see like it has, sorry. That on the inside. So you could definitely buy like a chain from their website or wherever if you already have a chain or a belt that you like from another bag or just whatever, you can definitely um, attach it and wear it that way. Um, yeah, has like those little like card holders on the inside three card holders, three little card holders pockets. Let me see if I can show you. Which is nice. So this is a good, this is a good like, um, I also think you can dress this up and down. Um, 
depending on what your style is you could pretty much dress any one of these bags up and down but for these bags that aren't as colorful um definitely you have more leg room to like dress them how you want them um so i think this i love i'm loving this design this is a perfect going out bag to me it's great um i know <sighs> there are two type of i feel like there are two type of bad girls in this world for like the club for like the club buddies that be like out and about with a bag you got our bag for two reasons i'll say i would always always because it's cute always but one either it's serving because like you want to stunt like you want to you want to show off your designer bag and or you have like stuff that you was just out maybe it was just out or maybe like you just have stuff you have to bring um and it's like yeah i need something to carry this stuff in um so you got your phone your wallet your ipods your lipstick your lip gloss and maybe you just have like a few cards and you can fit all of that in there you can fit all that in here um, for sure um but for me when i go out i've really been liking of course i go out just to like of course, when I go out, I like to like stun a new bag or whatever um, occasionally, but more so, um, it's like a functionality thing. I don't, I actually don't like to like do too much when I go to the club. Like, I hate having, like, I, I like doing that, but like, I hate having to like shuffle my bag around, have all this extra stuff with me, have a coat, now have this big bag. Maybe I don't feel like carrying my bag all night. Now I gotta like sit it down me i think this is a good this is a, a great size bag um the shape is so unique um i like how like it's like kind of narrow you know most bags take up space this way a long ways which like if you're sitting it down it's taking up more space um but this one being narrow it like it doesn't take up much much space um you can fit, fit your phone in here if you absolutely your your ID, maybe a credit card, maybe your debit card, maybe um, you can fit that in there. There are, there's space for that in here purposely. Your lip gloss, your compact, and you're good to go. That's all you need. Like I'm lo I'm loving. This. I'm already in love with this. I really am because. Okay, so for one, yeah, and I'm not going to be, like, too uncomfortable wearing this. If I have to, like this, like, it's not going to bother me. Um, it's not that big of a bag, you know? Like, I just feel like it's so awkward, so uncomfortable, and kind of, like, like, it comes off, like, too much going on. When you're in the club or, like, doing something, you got, like, a big at a big bag and you're like trying to dance or show like show off your figure or whatever and look cute like like it gets in the way does it just me it gets in the way and then like you may feel like uncomfortable sitting it down or once you do sit it down it's taking up all this space you're putting it you're putting it on the table um it, there's drinks all on the table a whole lot who go on the table who know what else on the table and you got this big goliath bag in the way like or you can have something cute out the way chill but like it's still even i don't know this is just so sexy to me it's really sexy to me like they really did that with the design um so yeah um, or you, you can do, and you can take these off or just stuff them inside and I feel like if you so like on a out and about walking around night out in the city or day out daytime a day out in the city and then transition to nighttime going out 
this is a great bag um, yeah it's a it's, yeah because it's like it's definitely like chill enough to wear with a regular outfit um but say you and a homegirl decide last minute you want to go out it's definitely like fly enough to wear on a night out and um say like you're on some like dinner date vibes i you, i feel like when you put sorry when you put those um when you put the straps away this by itself cute very posh it's giving a posh babe um or replacing it with like uh, a silver or a gold chain also very cute and posh so yeah quality's great feels soft i can see myself having this for a long time i can see myself wearing this a lot um i feel like yeah that was a great that was a great addition to my collection. Um, I feel like it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely giving what it needs to give. And um, JWPEI is definitely becoming my favorite new designer brand um, that is both affordable, all of their stuff being under $250 so far and um, high-end quality uh, for a low-end price so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I really enjoyed talking about it I'm so excited for JWPI and I can just see myself growing in their collection um, or I could just see myself growing my collection uh, they have a couple of shoes I also really want to get um, might get one or two more like of their of their um, of their classic bags and um, yeah so if I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed um, the bags please check them out is worth the money you're not gonna feel stupid buying it and um yeah see you next time